awake at 6 a.m. and have been awake for over an hour. No, we don't. <laughs> I like it up early on vacation. I like getting up early and I like getting this part done. <sighs> this would feel like a really productive person. Yeah. It just was hard to get out of bed when he was already ready to go. All right, all right, all right. On the island across the way. That is beauty only early morning people get. <laughs> He's gonna go run, and I'm gonna walk and take pictures. <laughs> it's too pretty not to take the pictures. Jason coming up in front of me from his shoes. Can you find him? So where's Waldo of Jason's shoes? Hey, I spotted you way down there with your shoes. You can go back or you can walk with me. I'll walk with you. All right, say that again. You were way faster than I thought. I thought I'd catch you way back there. Huh. So good job. And I stopped and take photos along the way. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head over. This is Black Rock right here, the back side of it. But you can walk out in this little section here and have a view of what we just walked. They're setting up like some kind of a concert or something right there. And if you can see the El Dorado little gazebo right there, all the sand at this side of the beach has completely eroded out. There didn't used to be that big of a shelf. It would go out another 40 yards or so. So that's kind of unfortunate. And I hate bouldering. This is his favorite thing to do, but I hate, I'd rather stay on solid ground. Maybe I'll stay here. I'm good staying here. We've made us some breakfast. The bacon is still cooking. Got some juice, some eggs, some toast, and I'm gonna edit while I look at my nice view. All right, we had breakfast. I just kind of lounged. I had to take care of a few things back home. Ashley has uh, cheer practices this week, and one of them was canceled for today. So, kind of had to just make sure everyone was <laughs> involved in getting her there and back, or knew it was canceled. So now that mom, you know life is kind of checked off the box. We are headed out on a little adventure. We don't really have a total destination in mind. We're just gonna head north on the island and we forgot the drone, so we're gonna go back and get that. And we forgot our boogie boards, so we've already gone back to get that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's nice that it's only like 9.30 in the morning and I already feel like we've already had like part of an adventure today. Did you feel part of the run and the walk? Yeah. Like, it was just so nice to go for that walk, and since we started at six o'clock in the morning, you know, we still have all of our day left. And anyway, we're just gonna play it by ear, see how things go. We have swimsuits packed, we also have our snorkel gear packed, and towels and sunscreen and all that kind of stuff. And we also have just a few snacks. We have the chips and some bananas and sodas. Um, we'll likely get some food later on, but we did just have a big breakfast and then if we are done kind of having our fun by mid-afternoon we'll go home and shower and try and get an early um, table at Duke's restaurant for dinner tonight um, it was not looking very busy last night um, yeah, they, they, nothing was looking busy it was like really chill no yeah people. it's very pool, nice like we were one of six people in the pool yeah at sunset yeah it was great so we're hoping that we can actually get a table especially if we go earlier like 4 30 or so, which we don't mind, because that's, what, 7.30 our time back home, so we're still on that time eating-wise. 
but also when we left the pool area right after sunset it was kind of packed not a huge line to wait because most of the people just have to get a reservation but i'm hoping that we can actually eat there tonight if not we'll just head into Lahaina and go and find something in there check this out we decided when we come back after a little sightseeing we're going to come down to this beach looks like there's some good snorkeling going on out here. There's a ton of snorkelers out here. Hole. I think it's called Nakalele Bohol, if I remember right. I'm butchering it, but we only got to see it right at the end of the day last time. So we're gonna go and see it. Good morning. So we were gonna walk down, but if you can see out here, there's a whole little squall, or squall coming in right, right out there across the water. I don't want to get caught in that with the drone and the camera and stuff. But the blowhole is right down there. Yeah, we literally didn't get to even turn the camera on down there when it started to poof. Just pouring rain. Yeah. I'm literally like drenching wet. So, we'll do a little bit more of a drive. We'll head this other way. We'll go <laughs> yeah, we'll keep driving because it's so gorgeous scenery. We uh, didn't even try to put the drone up here. Nope. We saw that squall coming in and we're like, nope. We're gonna we'll put it away. Keep your phone here. No, let's take it apart. Okay. Yeah. Save the battery. There's no point. I'm literally like soaking wet. And the AC is on in the car, so now I'm gonna be cold. why you don't go around to this side of the island. This is one lane. What happens And if... we can't see up ahead uh, whether How there's another car. I... <laughs> this is ballsy to do this part right here. Uh, I and mean, we can see a car up here. It's parked. But what happens if you get there and some car's there? Then you're like, what? Well, wow. you're, you're going to drive backward, I guess. Maybe this is our key, our sign to like turn back around. Okay. Okay, so the car up there is in the predicament we just thought we would be in. There's a car coming down the hill. We're gonna go turn around. <laughs> hill behind you. Hill behind you. Hill, hill in front of you. Crap. It's a 20 point turnaround. Yeah, there's cars coming back behind us. I would advise them, tell them to turn around. All right, so now that we've kind of parked and we've been enjoying this view right here, um, tip, don't go all the way around the north end. <laughs> Nope. It narrows so bad. Now there's probably a half, more than a dozen. Well, at least a no, dozen. No, no, there's probably like, yeah. Just yeah, about a dozen there. cars. See all that? There's some finally Some made, of them are finally, finally this is, coming back. They're barely coming back. One, two, there's three. Yeah, so there, there's yeah. a bunch of cars. It yeah. gets so narrow. Bottleneck. That, that like you have to back down. Someone's got to back somewhere, and we're talking like narrow road. Very narrow. With steep drop off. So. Once the state road ends, 
or you come to this point here where you're looking yeah, at Yeah, when you're looking at this little, it reminds me of Oregon, the little rock out here. Yeah, there you go, now you can see it. When you get to this point where you have this view and there's a teeny tiny pull out, just get your view from here and then turn around and go back down <laughs> because... Yeah, that's Maui tip number, number one, one for this trip. <laughs> All right, I'm just sh gonna show you here on the map. So we're staying over here, right? This is the safe way that we went to. And then drive up the coast to Kapalua, which is right there. And then we went up and around. So we're right here where that little blue dot is. But we went further. Let me show you where that little rock was. Kind of sticking out, which is right there. Kakakuloa Bay. Don't go past this point right here. But I didn't realize how close that was down to the other side of the island. This is Kahului. This is the airport. So, uh, yeah, that's it's just really sketchy over here. So, I feel like we kind of went around as much as we could and kind of did fun adventure. But now we're going to have a little snack here in the car. Really need to put sunscreen on. All right. So, we want to go to Turtle Bay, the one with all the ships on it. But we forgot our GoPro, and I know that that's a really good snorkeling spot. So we just came down to DT Fleming Beach, and we're just going to go and enjoy being in the water. If there's waves, he'll probably do the boogie board. I'm, I'm just going to relax. I'm really tired, but I want to get in the water. And then we'll probably go into Lahaina and grab lunch or something, and then kind of go from there, correct? I think so, and I think these people are leaving. Yeah, we've got a good spot on... A parking spot one. Because otherwise they're all way too tiny. They're way too tiny. Ooh, they're pulling out right there too. This one. We got lucky. Alright, we've got boogie boards from the room. We've got our little beach bag. We put sunscreen on all over us. The blue lizard one is perfect. It doesn't leave you all white. We just wanted to cool off, get in the water. We just sat there on our boogie boards and just rode the waves and just relaxed and talked. And uh, there's not really good snorkeling here. And so, and there's not good like boogie boarding. There's not many waves and stuff. So uh, we didn't get out our face masks or bother to go back and get our GoPro. We just wanted to be in the water. And plus side to that is that we didn't get very sandy. So. I don't have sand in crevices where I need to go home and shower. So we're just kind of airing out with the windows open and I think we're gonna go into Lahaina. It is only 1 p.m. You guys, when you get on Hawaii time and you wake up early, you get so much done. Well, it's our time in Hawaii. Well, it's our time in, yes, it's what I, whatever. So this portion of today's video is sponsored by Nick because I can't keep his attention away from his phone because you're texting him. <laughs> well, he's all like trying to plan it. He's like, we gotta plan a trip. I know. <laughs> so our friends Lydia and Nick met us here in Maui last year and we had dinner at the Cheeseburger in Paradise. And we just miss them so much. It's like we can't do Maui now without them. And so Jason's been sending them photos and 
it's kind of fun to know that we were here with friends and we met them here, which was even better. All right. I know, this is the same table we sat at last time. We are at Cool Cats and we came last year and got uh, burgers, but today we're gonna go for something a little bit lighter and a pina colada and lots of water, correct? He's still texting Nick. No, Chelsea. Oh. Nick, you're off the hook because this guy's hungry, so he's gonna get food first, and then he'll get back to texting you. <laughs> We aren't new to the banyan tree. We've done this before. But in case you are new to looking at Maui videos, this is the banyan tree, and it is all one tree. It all grows from one center, like, stump. So it grows from this one here in the middle. They grow up, and then they plant new roots, and then they grow up again, and then they plant new roots over there. So it's pretty cool to be in here. If you come back in here at nighttime, the doves all come back. And it just sounds so cool. Oh, he's getting me with better scenery. See, then you can talk about it with it behind you. Sorry. Ready, action. <laughs> We're gonna walk away because we've already seen it before. But it's pretty cool. Come in, see it during the day, but then if you happen to be in the same area, come in at night and just listen. It's pretty cool. Done some shopping and we got this cute little tiki glass. I'll show you a different view of it. Uh, I've always wanted to get one of these little tiki glasses, and if you got a dual whip in it, anyway, it wasn't a deal, but like saved a little they bit saved on a couple bucks. couple bucks off the dual whip. But now I have a little tiki glass to take home, so that's kind of fun. So we're gonna hurry and eat this before it melts. in Lahaina. We just kind of looked in the shops. I'll show you later what I got. It's really, really cute. I might even have to wait till I get home because it's all taped up. I got it at the Coco Nene store, my all-time favorite store. If you've seen past souvenir hauls, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I got some cute things from there. Um, but we are determined to not let our night end even though we're exhausted. Are you exhausted? I'm kind of tired, but I'm, ex I'm excited to explore. So we're driving over to Wailea. We haven't really ever been over here. We only had dinner here uh, last year. We met friends of ours from Seattle the first night we were here last time and went to dinner. I think it was at the Four Seasons Resort, wasn't it? It was bougie. It was very bougie and the food wasn't that great. Yeah, so just like, yeah. don't think that you have to go to the expensive hotels and expensive restaurants to get good food in Hawaii. No, you don't. You no. can find good food at Slappy Cakes and it's just pancakes. Um, the so, burger joints, the same, I mean the food is yeah. good in Hawaii, you gotta say that. Yeah. The food is good just about everywhere in Hawaii. Yeah, don't, you don't have to spend a ton of money to find good food. So we don't, we're not necessarily going to get dinner, we're not really hungry for dinner. Did I miss the tour or something? Um, no, but I better put this down to try and help him find the way to go. Uh, we're still in our swimsuit. Oh no, I got my phone. It's you got your directions? I'm yeah. still wearing my swimsuit. And uh, so we're not by any means ready to like do a sit down dinner, but we're just not ready to like call it a night. I think if I went back to the hotel right now and showered and got cleaned up, I would crawl right into bed. <laughs> and it's only 4.45. Can't, can't do that quite yet. We gotta like maximize our daylight here in Hawaii. Once the sun goes down, if we've enjoyed the, the light, turn right. If we've enjoyed the sunset, we kind of give ourselves the freedom to call it a night because 7 p.m. here is 10 o'clock our time back home. Um, I still feel like we're on that schedule. So it's kind of okay once the sun goes down to call it a night. So, and I still have to edit like crazy. And we realized there's a third surprise video. Yes, we do have a we third one. Right. Turn right onto North Kihei Road. So, this trip is obviously first surprise. Yeah. There's another surprise coming before we go home. And then there's a third surprise after we get home. You guys love when I tell you that. <laughs> so, stay tuned.
You know you're in the wrong place when the ABC store is the only one that you can afford. <laughs> Prada, Gucci. Oh, crazy shirts. Sure. Tiffany's. I've seen Tiffany since New York. Yeah. So this isn't Wailea Market. It's not exactly our market, but it's a nice, enjoyable night to look at things we can't afford. It's okay. We're having a good time, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. to walk through and that cute little hula display was kind of fun to watch and it's just a fun atmosphere in general I don't care what how much money you have it's still a fun atmosphere and we we're just driving back we have like a nice little sunset um, you can't see it out the window but um, and we're tired we have been going now for 12 hours and it's only 6 30 at night but we are tired we either will go home and cook our pizza that we got from Safeway yesterday um, likely we will just go hit fast food <laughs> because we're just tired. I still have to edit tonight. So anyway, we're going to end it with you guys. We don't really know what we're doing tomorrow. Kind of have an idea in our head. So come back tomorrow and join us in that way again. Because it's just, I can't believe how much we did today. Like I seriously can't believe how much we did. And it's all because you helped me get out of bed at 6 a.m. That was, yeah. and we're going to do it tomorrow morning. That's, yeah, that's another thing is that we want to make sure we go to bed on time and be able to get up again because it is helping like it we can get so much done and i probably got 14,000 steps today which is and i probably wasn't even holding my phone the whole time i probably kept putting it in my bag yeah i got 15,000 steps in today plus we swam and i can't you know you can't track that but um i am still trying to make good choices while we're here and i only ate two of his french fries we didn't eat the bun when yeah, we had I the even chicken took the sandwich. Off mine and it, it lightens it up. It's yeah, we had salad. We had, I didn't order a soft drink for my meal. I had water and a pina colada and strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> wow. Those two <laughs> have a little bit of sugar. They do, but I didn't have a Coke. So, okay. anyway, thank you for watching, you guys, and stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye.